Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace Oppo Find X default launcher. It's a problem with this device is that uh, they, uh, there is not, not even an option in the settings to replace the launcher. So if you have any questions put them in the comment section below the video. And please subscribe to the channel because I really need the support. So just uh, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you very much. Let's move on. The first thing to do is uh, to install the USB drivers for the Oppo Find X. And you just uh, search in the search bar and uh, search for Oppo Find X USB drivers. And I will leave all links in the description below. So I use the site uh, oppousbdrivers.com. I think it's a good link. So it's a good link. It's uh, you have the instructions. Uh, you can follow them. So we have to download the drivers. So this is uh, valid for Windows. Uh, if you're running Linux or Mac OS, yeah, it's a different procedure. And uh, yeah, extra extract all uh, ADB drivers. And you have to, to click OK here to do the installation. And here you choose install. And you have to have your uh, phone attached, of course. I didn't at uh, this time, so you can see the device not found. But otherwise, it should should find your uh, the Oppo Find X. And you can also check under the device manager and uh, check uh, mobile devices and uh, click on that, and you can see the, the your device there. In the list. So going further we have to download the ADB binders. I will leave this link also in the description below the video. So we have done the first part, so the second part, ADB binders. And uh, here you can choose Windows, Mac and Linux. That's good, very good. This is a package uh, containing much more uh, stuff than is needed for, for this uh, operation. So here you have the extract, you have to extract uh, the contents of this uh, library. So here it's uh, just uh, a few members that is needed, but uh, it's no harm to extract all the items in this library. So that's what we are going to do, extract. So here is the folder. And, uh, you need to be standing in this folder when you are going to do the commands uh, later. So, in the search bar, you're searching for CMD. It's uh, short for command, and uh, this is a software that gives you the possibility to run commands against uh, a mobile phone, for example. You can see uh, by default, I'm in my user slash David uh, folder, but I need to stand in uh, this uh, folder. So I copy the, the path and change the path with CD space and uh, the, the path name. So, so now we're standing in the right position, so we have to Install a launcher. This is uh, you can use any launcher on the Google Play Store. I love Nova launcher, so I 
uh, use that as my primary launcher on all devices. It's very important that you have this installed because otherwise you have no launcher and it will be hard to, to reset the phone. So now you must activate uh, the developer options and uh, you go to about the phone and uh, the version line you press that uh, I think seven or eight times to activate developer options but I have already that option uh, activate, activated. So then you go to developer options and to USB debugging and, and you have to activate that one because otherwise you can't uh, run commands uh, against the phone. So then you can see you, ha you have to have transfer files uh, also activated, not uh, transfer photos. Uh, that's also important to make this work. So now on the command line, you just uh, execute ADB shell. That's uh, because you you need that to be able to to do commands, and you have to accept it on your phone. And then you will have to execute this command you can see on screen: pm uninstall dash k dash dash user zero com oppo dot launcher and this uh, will remove the built-in launcher and, uh, and uh, leave only no launcher as, uh, as a result now you can see on the phone if you if we start it so this is uh, nova launcher and this is a backup, uh, it, it doesn't really look uh, that way normally, but I have a um, backup active also. So press setting it to default, you see it's still Nova Launcher, otherwise it, you would have popped back to Color OS. So that's that, and um, now we move on to uh, to go back to uh, the, the color OS launcher by resetting the phone so you can see the reset phone and you can choose I think you can choose more or less any one of these but uh, I, I took the full uh, reset and you have to uh, confirm that you are want to reset if you have an Oppo account uh, then you have to uh, log out from that one first So, as you can see, there's only uh, two European languages uh, available. So, I choose English and uh, just skip through all the setup because that's not uh, of interest this time. And it goes quite fast to go through this uh, setup, uh, even if you are setting up it uh, as a new phone. So. Now we are finished and we are back in Color OS launcher. And uh, now uh, we have to reinstall Google Play Store and Google Services, the Google Framework as it is uh, called. So just yeah, search for uh, Google. And we will see that uh, it's the second option. Google Play. Let's press install. And you have to say that it's uh, okay. After this, you have to log in to your Google account. And uh, when inside, you can start installing your applications. So that's uh, quite easy to, to accomplish uh, this uh, reverse uh, engineering. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. 
and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye